What's good? This is Trey. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to handle rejection uh, when it comes to interacting with women. Um, the reality is when you go and approach a woman or just when you go and approach women in general, some women are going to say yes, some are going to say no. No matter how good your game is, some women will reject you, right? And as a man, you got to know how to handle that. A lot of guys, they, they get rejected and they may try to curse at the girl or, you know, try to make her feel bad or ask her, oh, but why? And, you know, it, those are not the proper responses to a rejection. Like, you know, you just got to understand rejection is a part of the game. So don't take it personal. Don't try to blame the girl and say that she's a horrible person. Like, don't, that's not the truth, the, the reality of it. The reality is you can't, you can't expect every girl to be like, yes. You know what I mean? Like, that's just not how life is with anything. You, there is, there's always going to be yes on one side and no on one side. You got to be able to handle both in order to play the game. So when a girl rejects you, right? A lot of times they're not going to just flat out say no, first of all, right? They will say it. Some, some girls will say it or whatever, but a lot of times they'll give you an excuse, right? A lot of, and a lot of times the reason they give the excuses because they know guys will you know, some guys will, will get offended if they just flat out say no. But they'll usually give you an excuse. So I've got a boyfriend. I'm married. I'm not looking for anything right now. Uh, sorry. Just got a relationship. Whatever. And the, the proper response is just to say, thank you. Have a great day. Or sounds good. Um, have a magical day or whatever. You know what I mean? Just... There's no, if a girl is, is basically saying no, like, I'm not going to try to convince her. She already said no. You feel me? Now, in some cases, you could, because you, you could feel out the vibe. In some cases, it might be a little challenge, right? So maybe she'll say she has a boyfriend and you'll be like, um, she'll say she has a boyfriend and you could be like, oh, okay, that's great. And then you just keep talking. You know, that's that's one thing I'll do. So it depends on the vibe. Like, if she if she's telling me about her boyfriend, because I know how it is. Like, when a girl's really feeling you, she won't even bring up her boy. She may she may have a boyfriend, but she won't even bring him up. Like, if she's really feeling you, right? She's not even gonna bring the boyfriend up. So I I'm aware of that. So when a girl does bring the boyfriend up, I'm like, okay, she's not feeling me that much. You feel me? So from there, I can decide: Do I want to? apply some game and try to get over the the, the, the um, objection or do I want to just go talk to another girl right because I personally I can handle rejection right so instead of me having to stay in an interaction and trying to get her to say yes I'll just be like have a nice day boom and I'm on to the next one right but some guys they don't like to put themselves in position to get rejected more over and over. So they want to get really good at convincing a girl, right? And you can go ahead and do that. Like I say, you, when she brings up her objection, you could talk right past it. I'll do that. But you got to, it's like a frame, like it's a vibe. You got to be able to act like she didn't, like you didn't even hear her, right? She says, oh yeah, well, I have a boyfriend. You'd be like, okay. Yeah. So you know, what's funny. Um, what happened to me the other day, you go into a completely different topic like that, like, you know, um, I'll do that sometimes. So that's one, you know, if you want to get past an objection, you can do that. Just talk as if she, as if it, it doesn't matter to you and just keep moving. Um, another one is you could like make a joke about it. Like she says, oh, I have a boyfriend. You could be like, oh, okay, that's great. Well, you know, I, I didn't ask you to tell me your problems. You know, I just was. I was just, you know, seeing if you wanted to grab a coffee or whatever. She may, she probably would laugh, right? Or you could say, um, oh, some, I don't know where I heard this one, but you could say like, oh, well, oh, you got a boyfriend, he could cook his dinner in the morning, right? You could say some funny shit. And like, if she's, if she likes you, she, you may be able to overcome the, uh, the objection just by having a comeback, right? But I'm gonna be honest with you. My, I'm not really into the whole, like if a girl's bringing up a boyfriend, like to me, that that's a turn off for me, cause I'm not sure, cause she knows I ain't trying to hear that. So if she says that, it's like, yo, see you later, right? That's like if a girl comes up to me, and she say, oh, I think you're cute or whatever, and I like, oh, I got a girlfriend. Like that's 
that's whack, right? It, that's that's just showing disinterest, you feel me? So that's how I see it. Like, if she brings up a boyfriend, I'm not even trying to overcome. I'm not even trying to overcome that because it's like, well, I've seen girls that, like, they do, they'll do this and do that and do this and, and won't bring up a boyfriend at all, right? Like, they'll make out with you, they'll do, you know what I mean? All these things will happen and you won't even know that they had a boyfriend the whole time. So I've seen that. So I know what it looks like when a girl is into you, right? She won't even bring up certain shit. But if a girl's bringing it up, like I said, you know, you just walk away. Just say, have a great day. Bye. Um, the, the I think the best way to handle rejection is just to, is just to just say thank you, right? Because basically what she's doing is she's helping you not waste your time. Like she's helping you like move on. I'd rather the girl say, I don't have a boyfriend as soon as I walk up. I, no, I'd rather her, you know, reject me as soon as I walk up as opposed to me talking and doing all this shit. And then at the end, she's like, oh, by the way, I have a boyfriend, you know? So you gotta look at rejection as, is getting you one step closer to success. It's getting you one step closer to um, the result that you want, right? If you're not getting rejected, you're probably not really putting yourself out there like that. You gotta remember, like, not every girl is gonna be for you. You know what I mean? They have, you know, they have their specific man that they're looking for or, or characteristics that they look for in a man. You may not meet that. You may be the complete opposite. It just means you're not right for that girl, but the girl right next to her could be perfect for you, you feel me? So, um, yeah, like rejection, you know, it's not something to be taken personally. You know what I mean? Nobody can actually really reject you in a, in a, a few few minutes or a few seconds like that. They don't know who you are. They don't know your true value. They're just getting like a sample of it, right? So, here's what it is. It just You just always got to remember, like, there's so many women in the world that you can't just be getting caught up on, on one rejection. You feel me? It's just ridiculous. Like, if you look at it logically, you know, there's just too many women. And then once you really start putting yourself out there, you start getting success, you'll start to see, like, rejection it just doesn't matter. It just is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, if you ever did sales, it is what it is. You could get rejected a thousand times, but if you keep going, you, you're going you gonna to get some yeses, right? And you're going to make, like, if you're in sales, you make money, right? You get through the no's, you get the yeses, and you make money. If you can't handle the no's, like, if you're avoiding hearing no, you're not going to do shit. You're just going to try to be smooth and try to find a perfect moment. There is no perfect moment. You go, you you, you demonstrate your value, and you, you get either a yes or a no or maybe, right? And then you just go, and then you go with it, right? If it's a yes... So yes, if it's a no, it's a no. If it's a maybe, you can decide, uh, do I wanna try to turn the maybe into a yes or do I wanna just um, be like, ah, she's not that interested. I, I prefer girls who, you know, are really into it. You know what I mean? Cause you gonna get to a point where you, you know, when you have options, you have abundance, you, you sometimes you're not even gonna wanna waste your time with a girl if she's not that interested. You feel me? It's like, why? You know, if I have these other girls that are like invested already and you know what I mean? And they're giving me compliance. Why should I deal with this girl that's, that's putting up all these barriers and shit? So uh, that's how you deal with rejection. You just don't, you don't even really react like that. You just say, thank you. Have a great day. Or you pretend like you didn't hear it. You just keep talking um, or you address it, right? in a funny way like just don't take it too seriously and see how she responds to that and then go from there um that's pretty much it thanks for watching this video see you in the next one peace